India has given the Chinese a bloody nose on every front, and Eastern Ladakh is China's last chance to save face. India has been beating China black and blue on all fronts, and now China is using its last possible option, Eastern Ladakh, to put up a brave face. As per latest reports, Sino-India military talks at the Indochina border have hit new roadblocks in several areas, with the Chinese People's Liberation Army showing reluctance to disengage. The biggest point of confrontation is, of course, the Pangongso Lake. Pangongso is the origin of the ongoing military standoff between India and China in eastern Ladakh. The standoff had started after a violent face-off between the two armies on May 5th at the banks of the Pangongso Lake. Presently, the Chinese PLA is occupying areas between Finger 5 and Finger 8, as well as the ridge line in Finger 4 in the Pangongso area. The PLA did move back from Finger 4 after an understanding was reached on disengagement, but since then, satellite images have revealed a major Chinese mobilization, which includes permanent bunkers, huts, installation of artillery guns, and stationing of boats. According to Deccan Herald, the 5th Corps commander level talks between the Indian Army and the Chinese PLA has ended in a deadlock. While the Indian government hasn't issued any formal statement, it has emerged that the PLA claims to have been always present in this area. The Chinese deployment is said to be 8 kilometers inside India's perception of the line of actual control, the effective Sino-India border. While New Delhi believes that the LAC is coterminous to Finger 8, China claims that the LAC passes through Finger 4. As per News 18, the main friction points between India and China now are the green top on Pangong So's northern shore, patrol point 17A near Gogra, and patrol point 13 near Depsang Plains. This means that practically the Galwan Valley, the venue of a bloodbath between the Indian Army and the PLA on June 15th, is the only point where the Chinese have disengaged in line with the agreement between the two militaries. China is making some of the most absurd arguments to avoid disengagement in eastern Ladakh. News 18 has quoted an officer familiar with the military talks as saying, their argument is that India has also violated the status quo in the Pangong area. He added, this claim has no basis because all the works India has undertaken are clearly on our side of the LAC. China is desperately trying to weaponize old events in order to avoid disengagement, especially in Pangong So. Till 1999, India had maintained a permanent position in Finger 7 in line with her claim of effective territorial sovereignty up to Finger 8. However, during the Kargil War in the summers of 1999, the Indian Army had to evacuate troops and deploy them in the conflict with Pakistan. This was when China backstabbed India and used the opportunity to build a road extending to Finger 4 in order to ensure that India couldn't re-establish the permanent position at Finger 7. Now, China is citing this illegal road to claim sovereignty up to Finger 4. Within China, there is growing insecurity which explains its reluctance to disengage from the friction points in eastern Ladakh. Over the past three to four months, India has made a number of military and economic moves, all of which have hurt Beijing in a big way. First, India restricted Chinese FDI to check predatory investments from the Middle Kingdom. Then, there were also reports about India imposing restrictions on Chinese foreign portfolio investments too. After the two countries got engaged in a military standoff, a wave of anti-China sentiment took hold of India. Confederation of All India Traders, the apex body of traders' union, declared plans to boycott Chinese goods worth more than 1 lakh crore rupees, that is, 13 billion US dollars approximately by December 2021. The tipping point, however, came after the Indian Army's Bihar Regiment soldiers gave the PLA a bloody nose. India mourned its 20 brave hearts, but till date, China hasn't been able to muster the courage of disclosing the massive casualties that it suffered. Post Galwan, India has banned Chinese apps, which has led to tremors across the world. Now, even the US is considering banning Chinese apps like TikTok and WeChat. India is causing irreparable economic harm to China by creating hurdles in the form of customs checks of Chinese imports and exclusion of Chinese bidders in Indian contracts. Till now, all China has been able to do is cry foul. It is in no position to take any firm action against India. By holding up disengagement in eastern Ladakh, China wants to put up a brave face. According to the print, sources have suggested that the Chinese might be looking at a higher level to resolve the situation mutually.
Beijing wants to make a big issue out of Eastern Ladakh and this is why it might want to take the matter up to diplomatic levels as opposed to military talks.